Do you believe billionaires are inherently bad? Why or why not? I think hoarding resources beyond a certain point when a lot of people don't have enough to eat, can't afford to go to the hospital, don't have a roof over their heads is immoral. Yeah. What is that point exactly? I don't know. But a billion dollars sure seems like it's well over that point. Also god the people on here caping for literal billionaires are exhausting. As someone who finds it appalling to see people on the street, struggling to feed themselves. I cannot imagine having an amount of money where I can help people. Without financially burdening myself. The fact that billionaires have more wealth than they could conceivably spend. And society is still crumbling around them means they're only at it for themselves. In a world where money is a resource and many do not have enough to survive. That concentration in a single source is a misallocation of resources. Having a net worth of over a billion? Not on its own. It could be inheritance. Windfall. Stroke of incredible luck. Having it and keeping it and not making the world better with it? Absolutely. The average human lifespan is less than 30,000 days. A billion dollars would be a decent annual asterisk income. Everyday asterisk for an entire lifetime. There are no ethical billionaires. To get a billion dollar requires exploiting thousands of people or to be rewarded from someone that exploited thousands of people. And to keep it is pure greed. The average American worker makes $54,000 a year. Times 40 years of work that is $2,160,000 made in a lifetime. A billionaire has at least $1 billion in value. They could give 99% of their wealth away and still have $10 million left over. Five times the average lifetime earnings of a worker. Even adjusting for future inflation the lifetime wage of a worker would be around $5 million. And if the billionaire started a business from nothing and grew it over time. Eventually the contributions from the billionaire become insignificant compared to the total value made from all their workers combined. Yet the billionaire gets the wealth because they started the business despite it taking many workers to produce it. Billionaires take wealth produced from others and hoard it for themselves. Ways to become a billionaire. 1. Exploit thousands of people in a business. 2. Be born into a billionaire's family and be given the money. 3. Get lucky in a lottery that millions of people lost money in. 4. Make something a billionaire wants to buy from you. Even if you by some miracle manage to become that wealthy through completely ethical means. Press X to doubt. Staying that wealthy is a moral failing of an incalculable magnitude. You can get rid of most of that money and still live comfortably for the rest of your life and your children's lives and their children's lives. There comes a point well before when you have the resources of a small country BTW that you have a responsibility to help other people. How do you think the Ukraine-Russia war will end? I feel like it's going to be some unsatisfactory peace for both sides. That will be only a break before another conflict. With a lot of dead innocents. The way the Korean War ended, an armed truce with no genuine peace treaty. Russia will retain Crimea but may have to give up Donbass or at least parts of it. Then Ukraine will ultimately join the EU. Although perhaps not NATO, Ukraine will be rebuilt with Western aid and will become a regional powerhouse much like South. Korea has and Russia will slowly decline in favor of China. Although nobody will really win. Ukraine will ultimately emerge in a better state than Russia but will have to live with an unfriendly neighbor. Much like South Korea does. A year ago I thought Russia was going to steamroll. Six months ago it looked like Ukraine was going to liberate Crimea and push Russia out entirely. And now I'm not sure. TBH it really depends on Putin's grasp of power and how much the Russian people are willing to put up with. I think Russia will eventually win a war of attrition at the cost of hundreds of thousands of lives. 
and Russia's entire economy and reputation. Seems like a comically bad deal but the Russian people seem to be content to march to their own destruction so we'll see how it goes. Putin will fall out of a window during a special military celebration. One of Putin's close oligarch peers will get fed up by spending money and gets him shot. But that's just an idea. Are you still using cash? Why? I use cash occasionally. Kids come to the door to shovel the walk. For example, my very rare purchase of lottery tickets, tiny purchases, pack of gum, etc. I get cash tips at work. I'll use it for lunch. I like cash cause my bank account doesn't know it exists. It's secret money. I find it easier to control my spending if I use cash. You can't snort lines of Adderall through a Doge coin. I use cash for transactions I'd rather there not be a financial paper trail for. How would I pay an escort with a credit card? Those who grew up before the 2000s, in what ways did the world feel doomed back then? I remember a lot more talk about saving the rainforests. Early 90s. Destruction of the rainforest. In the 90s it was the AIDS crisis. Crack epidemic. And rising gang violence. Though compared to looming nuclear holocaust of the 80s and earlier. It was quite pleasant. Waiting for the Russians to launch a nuclear bomb consumed most of the 70s and 80s. Then 9-11 happened in 2001 and a lot of things changed. For me growing up in the 90s, the world seemed full of hope and promise. Yeah, so much for that. In the early 70s, in the US, we were conditioned to believe it all could end at any minute if either of us pushed the button. This lasted until the wall fell. Really. But. Telling a kindergartner to hide under the desk in case a hydrogen bomb was dropped kinda put some. Fear in ya. What was the best N64 game? Zelda Ocarina of Time. Call me superficial but Super Mario 64 and Star Fox 64. Perfect Dark. It's Mario 64 but Diddy Kong Racing will always be number one in my heart. GoldenEye. NFL Blitz. Just run da bomb over and over. What is the greatest TV series of all time? The Americans. Shocked it hasn't been listed here yet. The slow exploration of the emotional toll of long-term spies raising children and maintaining a marriage is masterful. Taking into account context, era, I'm going to suggest MASH. Band of Brothers. Whose line is it anyway? US version. The wire in its time. Not sure it still holds up. The world has moved on. Subscribe, my brothers.